scan the vehicle. And I got an inflatable airbag code. Uh, let's see, trouble code, display. It's reading, reading, reading. Passenger side, passenger seat airbag, high resistance. No, nope, that gives me, let's see what else. Anything else I can touch here? No. Nope. So I'm going to hit a report. We're going to confirm. We're going to save it. And we're going to back out of this. Let's display data. We're going to go resistance data. I'm just kind of throwing it out there. So 2.8 ohms, 2.6 ohms. Four. I don't know. Twenty-three ohms. Twenty-three. I don't know what's supposed to be normal. Passenger side seat airbag. Four point six. I think we're looking at that one. I'm not sure. I think we're looking at that one. But What they say, what I've been reading on the internet, is sometimes you'll have high resistance due to a bad connection under the seat. And I got water bottles in here. One thing over there, I have a cover on it. Over here, Randy, grab me a light. Here I have no cover. There's supposed to be a cover on this, so I wonder if that has corrosion on it. I've got to figure out how to get this connector out of here. Heat automotive connectors. Let me try to figure out how to get it apart. All I had to do, oh, you get in here. All I had to do is push this little tab here. It doesn't look. You got contact cleaner. I got to clean this stuff out. You know what, maybe I should get oh, I have no idea. Oh, okay, like this. Let me try these. Down here? No. I'm going to 
let me give it a shot of deox instead of the contact cleaner. This stuff's quick drying. Get that deox out of there. Well, let it dry out for a second. And we'll put it back together and see if my ohm reading changed. We'll see. Back on. Put that connector back on. Let's see. Did it change it? Let's run the scan again. I had, I think I had four point something ohms. Can't remember what loop it was. 24 ohms, 24 ohms, okay. That makes sense. No, it was a passenger seat. It was a passenger seat side airbag. It was four point something and now it's two point three. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, I think it changed it. It did so let's do this let's back out of here let's display DTCs okay so I'm gonna clear them because so I had the scanner hooked up but when I had it disconnected it's reading DTCs current no trouble codes right so all I did was clean it so let's rescan it let's hit scan we'll scan it again and we'll get back to you where is it inflatable restraints no DTCs so I just cleaned this up all these connections and it got rid of my fault for the airbag so that's all it was so sweet it, I don't the covers missing for some reason there's cover on this side not on this side I don't know where that cover went to Probably got kicked or something I don't know I bought it used so a few years back but yeah, if you got a high resistance code, you might want to clean your connections. This is for uh, 2000 Chevy, 2014 Chevy Suburban. Um, could go for other vehicles, I'm not sure, but got rid of my resistance fault. 